readers of the realm my name is Shay welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to talk about a book that I finished last weekend it's called the 12 Kings and Sher Kai by Bradley below this is the book 12 Kings and Sher Kai was published by Daw books in 2015 it's roughly around 600 pages long before I dive into the storyline I have to mention the cover art the cover is absolutely gorgeous so props to Adam Parquette for creating this stunning and beautiful cover so you might be wondering what is the 12 Kings and Sher Kai about anyway the 12 Kings and Sher Kai is an epic desert fantasy and this is book one of the Song of the Shattered Sand series and we get to follow Cheda who's the main protagonist in the series and her determination to kill and bring down all the 12 kings in Sherakai. The 12 kings in Sherakai is the best fantasy book that I've read this year. Without giving away spoilers I'll give you three reasons why I love the kings in Sherakai and why you should read it. Number one, the world building in Sherakai. This world is like nothing I've ever seen before. We get to follow Cheda in the city and her daily life growing Growing up in Sherakai, its people, its traditions, its culture, and its food. It felt like I was with Cheda walking into the marketplace. It is so richly detailed, and I actually love the city. What I thought was interesting about the world building in Sherakai is that Bradley did not provide a map for the book, which is strange for most fantasy books because they always provide a map in the beginning of the story. But because the story is so richly detailed and so intricately woven, you feel like you are in the city and you can find your way through the alleys and what kind of areas to avoid and what kind of people to avoid as well. However, I would like to see a map of Sherakai and its neighboring kingdoms. I know there are five kingdoms and I like to see where all those are placed and navigated in this world. My second reason why I love the 12 Kings of Sherakai and why you should read it is because of the action sequences. I absolutely love the fighting sequences. I'm a sucker for violence and Cheda is an absolutely phenomenal warrior. She works in the fighting pits, which is like the main entertainment center in the city of Sherakai. In order to protect her identity, Cheda wears a white wolf helm and everybody calls her the white wolf in the fighting pits. So Cheda reminds me a cross between Princess Mononoke and the Xena the warrior princess. Everything from the fighting pits to the duels to the dance of swords was one of my favorite scenes. I absolutely love the action sequences and because I do martial arts it was pretty cool to see some of the martial art techniques applied in this book so it made it more realistic for me. Yeah she just back kicked you and all that good stuff. So yeah I definitely love the fighting sequences and Cheda is an awesome warrior and it was absolutely fun to read. And number Number three, the storyline of Sherakai. In the 12 Kings, we get the main plot and the subplot. The main plot, it takes place in the present where we get to follow Cheda and her revenge on the Kings. While the subplot, we get to follow Cheda and her past. And each of her past is like a memory that uncovers a part of a truth as to the history of Sherakai and the legend of the Kings. The storytelling is intricately woven. It reads like a dream. And you get to fall in love with all the characters and their motives and their secrets. Overall, I don't normally rate books, but I can guarantee I can give this one a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm absolutely enthralled with 12 Kings of Sherakai. If you like epic, diverse fantasy, stunning storytelling, and realistic characters, then I encourage you to check out the 12 Kings of Sherakai by Bradley Below. If you want to learn more about the book or the author, I'm going to put his website and his Twitter in the description below. And if you liked my book review of the 12 Kings of Sherakai, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more book fantasy goodness. Bye!